The amazing world of the future seems exciting to us here in 1958, but take a look around the corner, around the block, in your neighborhood, and you will discover that the future may already be here. Submitted for your approval, an idyllic small town in the far-flung year of 2010. Surely science and the government have cured cancer, cholera, and the homosexuals. But what else is left to fear? Billy and Johnny are about to find out. Gee, Billy, my car sure runs better since I got that atomic engine. Gosh, where'd you get the money for that? I got it from delivering hollow newspapers door to door. It pays great because those things sure are heavy. Now I've got enough money to take Betty to the drive-in. The hollow drive-in? Better than that, the atomic hollow drive-in. Wow, that sure is neat. I gotta get me one of those hollow paper routes. Come on, we gotta go meet Sally and Betty at the mall shop. Holy moly, Billy, did you see that? What was it? We gotta find out. It looks like it landed over by Lookout Point. Let's go! Let's go! Gosh, Billy, I thought you said it landed up here. I could have sworn it did. Say, you think there were spacemen aboard that thing? Of course there were, Billy. Who do you think was driving that thing? A space woman? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's why it crashed. Jeepers, Billy, you better hope Sally doesn't hear you say that. Aw, oh, she wouldn't say nothing. She's the ginchiest. <laughs> Holy mackerel, did you hear that? Did I hear it? I'm standing right here. What are we gonna do? Well, which way did the noise come from? I think it came from that way. Are you sure? Pretty sure, genius. <laughs> He's the smartest guy in town. Aw, uh, my dad says Sam Caton's a crazy old know-it-all. Of course, I think that's mainly because he's a Brooklyn Dodgers fan. If he knows it all, he can probably help. Good point. Dr. Caton! Dr. Caton! Boys, boys, what's all the ruckus about? I've been tracking the Dino Man ever since he left Uranus, Billy. I'm too busy to leave right now. I'm trying to put the finishing touches on my top secret time travel experiment. Use this proton destabilizer. One shot will neutralize the Dino Man long enough for the authorities to capture it. Thanks, Dr. Caton. Come on, Johnny, let's get back to Lookout Point. Yeah, let's go get that monster from Uranus. There he is, Billy. Shoot him with the proton destabilizer. Come on, not again. Billy, the gun didn't work. I think it just made him angry. <laughs> Dr. Caton! Boys, whatever you do, don't use the proton destabilizer on the Dino Man. It'll only make him angry. See, I told you so. I apologize. My science was faulty because I was on the reefer. But that was just a few minutes ago. Maybe it was for you, but I'm the Dr. Sam Caton from next week. I thought something looked different about you. Yes, Billy. Time travel causes you to lose your hair. That's not the only bleak thing, though. Dino Man has conquered the future. But how do we stop him? Well, if my calculations are... What calculations? You're on the reefer, man. Johnny's dad was right. I'm sick and tired of you and this godless commie Dino Man coming in here and messing up my life. It's time. It's time for every red-blooded, God-fearing, freedom-loving American to rise up. Rise up and find their inner ass part and tear this stupid space reptile a new fucking blowhole! May I make a suggestion? What? Again, if my calculations are correct, reefer notwithstanding, I believe that Dino Man is using what is known as forced perspective on us. Forced perspective? What the heck is that? I'm glad you asked that, Johnny. Forced perspective is a technique that employs optical illusion to make an object appear larger or smaller than it actually is. Here, let me show you. Wow, Dr. Caton. 
That really is a lot smaller than he looked. Where did all the blood come from? Best not to think too much about that, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, boys, we still have one last problem to wrap up. My time travel experiment was supposed to be top secret. I don't know how you found out about it. But you told us. Oh, right. The reefer. Nevertheless, I can't have the two of you gallivanting around town talking about good old Sam Caton and his time machine now, can I? Gee, Dr. Caton, you can trust us to keep your secret. I'm afraid that's not enough, Billy. Yes, Billy. Really.